My name is Sam Kashner, and I wrote a cover story for Vanity Fair magazine about Meghan Markle. As we sit here today, you are the only one that has the only one-on-one -on -one interview with Meghan Markle so far. Mm. Are you aware of that? Yes. At the time, let's see, they, they were not engaged then, right? They were just dating. That's right. It was meant to be a sort of coming out to the American people of who Meghan was. Well, it was a very wet, rainy June day uh, in the afternoon, and uh, I went to her home. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a private home in a tree-lined street in Toronto, and I uh, knocked on the door. And the door opens, The and door it's opened. And it's Meghan Markle in a kind of floral summer dress, even though it's raining, pouring rain outside, and her two dogs, what Bogart are their names? and Guy. Bogart and Guy, yes, okay. Yes, tails wagging, no barking, sort of lab mixes, mm -hmm. rescued in California, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was incredibly welcoming. I mean, I got a hug immediately. Was that, you know, when you're a little kid and your mom tells you you never get a second chance to make a first impression, your first impression of her was what? Well, that she had a genuine warmth, a, an unstressed elegance about her, which you pick up on right away. and that she's just an interesting and welcoming person. The first stop in her house was her kitchen, and she prepared this fabulous lunch for two. She didn't seem guarded. No, mm -hmm. no. I mean, I, uh, we, in fact, we, we made a pact early on that we wouldn't have a formal interview over lunch, that we would just talk about life and get to know each other a little mm -hmm. bit better. And uh, so we put away our tape recorders, you know. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, she's very kind of Andy Warhol about, about this. She likes to sort of tape record things, too, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's just someone who's very interested in life, yeah. you know. She's, she's, she's woke, as, as we say, you know. <laughs> she's really saying very aware. She, re she really yeah. is. I'm struck by the fact there was no handler or publicist yes. with you all. Yeah, that was remarkable. No, there was no... No ground rules. I know this sounds awfully corny and silly, uh, or like a bad movie, but the sun came out, you know, when she started talking about her love for Harry. Sam, I almost feel like I should get out a violin. I know, but it <laughs> happened. Did she lead you to believe that she was thinking this could possibly lead to an engagement, or was it just, we're a couple that's dating? No, it, it wasn't that casual, actually. And if you kind of read between the lines, mm -hmm. she kind of gave it away. How so? Because she said, we're two people very much in love. But she did say, at some point, we will step out and kind of introduce ourselves, you know, and tell our story, our stories. And that told me a lot, you know. It, it, you know don't you think it, it, it suggests there will, be, there will be a time, it's not that far off, when we will emerge as a, a couple who want to be together for, for a lifetime.